What's up guys, this is Mofo Chronic from Mofo Productions, which you probably haven't heard of, coming at you with a little uh, domination game, public match on the name of the map escapes me right now. And this is like my third take doing this, so I, I, I don't know why. I'm, I think my Call of Duty is on right now in my Xbox, <laughs> so I don't know why I just haven't checked the name of the game or the name of the map, but whatever. I'm sure all of you people know. So, um, yeah. Uh, I'm using the P90... Uh, FMJ. Usually I'll, I tend to stay away from uh, anything but, especially at submachine guns, either FMJ or uh, silencer. And some submachine guns, like the ones with more power, people like to use red dots and everything like that. Or like the like to use uh, Bling Pro so they can have a scope on it. But usually I tend to stay away from attachments with submachine guns just because a lot of the time in close quarters and especially tight widey maps like this, you really don't need to use your iron sights a lot, even though I still do. Most of the time, you can just drop down, use your drop shot, and use the iron or use the uh, hip fire crosshairs because they're so accurate on submachine guns, especially the P90. And with a high cap mag, you really can't go wrong. But um, for perks, ooh, and I got a seven kill streak. I think I'm gonna go camp in the corner here in a second. Yeah. Uh, for perks, I'm using Ninja Pro, uh, Stopping Power Pro, and Marathon Pro. I actually might be using Scrambler. I didn't check at the beginning. I think I'm using Ninja though. Because I'll usually only use um, Scrambler on maps where they uh, tend to plant a lot of claymores. Like if we're doing Search and Destroy or we're doing uh, Demolition or Sabotage, you know, etc. I'll use <coughs> Scrambler because it's mostly, well, it's a lot more fast paced and you don't want to get tripped up by a claymore and get some cheap camper in the back with a Barrett, like laughing because he just killed you with his like claymore he randomly planted on a bomb. Which is really annoying to me. I can't stand that. So, um, yeah, I'm using Ninja just because. It's awesome, and especially on a map like this, you have a lot of people with heartbeat sensors camping, so... I usually... I, I don't change uh, Marathon Pro or Stopping Power Pro when I use the P90, but... Dep like I said, depending on the game type and the map, I'll, uh, I'll switch between Scrambler and uh, Ninja. And most of my other classes, I use Ninja. And then I'm using the P90 with FMJ, which... Sometimes I'll use the silencer, but that's only for search and destroy if I really don't want to get seen. On a map like this, it's so fast-paced and there's so many people running around that I really don't think anybody pays attention to their mini-map. <laughs> and, wow, he's just going to rain on my parade and end my kill streak there. Much appreciated. I think I was like, what, one away from a chopper gun or two away? I don't know. I wasn't really keeping track. But, and my Harrier got shot, or shot down like the second time, or the second kill it got. It got shot down like instantly, so I wasn't too happy about that, but I still did pretty good this game, so, yeah. And, <clears throat> as you can see, most, most of the game, we actually dominated this one, but most of the time when you're playing a game like this, domination, you'll typically, at least if you're playing competitively, or you act like you're, you're really trying to win, or you have a grudge, or it's a crap-talking lobby, smack-talking lobby, you'll usually let them keep one and you won't like try to push in or anything because as most of you know when you push in they'll spawn behind you or they'll spawn into your bases at the same time and they can they can change it from a three cap to a two to one cap on their favor in like five seconds and if they're good campers then they can change the whole turn of the game especially if you don't have a big lead and i just got knifed again that was ridiculous that kid was camping in that corner with the freaking scar unbelievable and another camper sitting in the center a lot, like, uh, on this map especially, I've noticed a lot of people will sit in the center with, like, not necessarily a submachine gun, but they'll sit there with a light machine gun or an assault rifle, and that guy tried to throwing knife me, and they'll just, they'll sit in a corner because they know people like me, people that like to rush are gonna run to the center, so they'll set up claymores in this little center room that I'm heading towards, and I, I just got knifed again, <clears throat> I swear to god, if that was the same dude, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, like I said, they'll, they'll sit in these little center rooms, or they'll sit around the center like that guy. They'll just they'll hide in a grass corner or something because they know they'll get lots of kills on a tiny map like this. And they'll just sit there. And there's another one. They'll just sit there and camp the whole freaking game trying to get kill streaks, which annoys the hell out of me. They won't even go for cap the flags. We're three capping them and they're still camping in the center going for kills, which I really don't understand. Well, I mean I do because people still want to get kill streaks and nukes and everything. But honestly, I I really don't know what people are thinking when they play these game types. It gets kind of annoying having people sit in the center and camp you. Even though you're winning, you feel like they have some mental edge over you. Like, you don't understand it. I really don't know. But, um, wow, and I just got shot like 40 times and I did not die. Um, usually on domination game types, like I said before, I'll, I'll use a submachine gun. Just because with submachine guns, it's, um, 
a lot easier, at least for me. Like, if it's a big map, I'll, I'll still use Marathon Pro, but I'll go AK or ACR, a really uh, good long range. M16 or ACR, excuse me. A really good long range assault rifle, and I'll still use Marathon, so I can still get across the map, but I, I have the long range for those uh, camping snipers and the people sitting up in the spawns above the, the, uh, the, the flag captures. So it's a lot easier for me to get across the map and still be able to protect myself from long distance. But on small maps like this, I'll, I'll uh, typically, if it's a game, like a really aggressive game, where the enemy team is trying to rush up on your flags constantly and it, like the, um, the balance of power is going back and forth and flags are constantly getting captured, you don't know who's going to win, it's neck and neck the whole game. It's a lot better to guard your flags and play aggressive and go for flags, but in this game, since we were dominating so bad, I just figured I'd run around, ooh, I just pulled out my Glocks, going to go a little Rambo style. I figured it's just better to run around and protect the flags all at the same time. I'm going to get a long range Glock here. Surprised that guy didn't turn around to see me. <laughs> and I'm doing the same camping thing right here. And it's a lot better on these maps, at least in my opinion, to stay towards the center. Like I said, not to camp necessarily, but when you're dominating the map or you have two points you're trying to protect, at least rove around the center a little bit so if somebody captures your base, you can actually run up and um, shoot them pretty fast and then you can pull back before more of them see you and go after you. This is pretty much what I'm doing now. So uh, yeah, I gotta get a couple last kills here to end the game. And this is actually a really short game considering we dominated most of it. So, ooh, and I just got a challenge. I have not been using my Glock that much, or at least I don't pull out my secondary. I've had my Kimbo Glock since I unlocked them, and that was a victory for us, 200 to 27. Uh, yeah, 30 and 11, not too bad. But then again, everybody on our team did pretty good. So, thanks for watching.